On this week's episode, we're talking about how to keep your mind strong while going through the everyday challenges of being an entrepreneur. So over the years, I've developed several different things that have really, really helped me. The first one being you get one day to wallow. Now, whatever happens to you, this could be something from very small to very big. It has really helped me over the years to allow myself one day to be mad, angry, pissed off, upset, tears, whatever it is. I get one day to feel those feelings and then I have to come up with a resolution. Now, that is a very short amount of time, so certain instances that might not fit, but for most things, it really has helped me to set a time limit and say, I'm gonna be upset or frustrated about this for this length of time, then I need to pick myself up and figure out a way around it. The key to that is that you don't let it stop you, whatever it is. And by putting that time frame on there, I found it's really, really helpful to say, okay, at this day and time, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna move forward, whatever it is, even if it's a tiny little teensy weensy baby step, I'm still gonna be moving forward. The second thing, which has really been big for me, is developing a a routine. Now, in previous podcasts, you've heard me talk about my morning routine and my evening routine. Both of those are instrumental in keeping my businesses, myself, my mind, everything strong and keep going on a daily basis. So make sure you check out those previous episodes if you're looking to start a routine or maybe revamp your routine. You might get some ideas from those. This one has been very hard for me sometimes. You may have heard me say before that I never realized how big of a bully I was until I realized how I talked to myself. So the third tip is make sure that you're kind to yourself. You're probably doing things that you have never done before. Maybe you're doing things that you don't even know how to do and you're winging it and trying to figure it out. You have to make sure that you're kind to yourself and give yourself grace because I know for myself that it's very easy to beat myself up and say, you should know how to do this. You've been in business for this long. You should not be stumbling over this. And you just need to remind yourself that you're learning. And every day, something's going to be different. And sometimes those challenges are really, really tough. And in order to make it through every single day, you've got to give yourself grace. Next up is set achievable goals. If you have followed along for any length of time, you probably know that I plan in 90 day chunks and I love it. I could talk about it for hours and hours. I will spare you on this podcast not to talk about it for hours and hours, but just know that is how I live my life. I base everything on 90 days. So after I set my 90 day goals, I really step back and take everything steps back essentially So that way that I'm doing small tasks every single day. If you've never planned in 90 day chunks, you might want to get the biggest, crazy, hairiest, audacious goal you've ever thought of and been like, that's what I'm gonna tackle these 90 days. But I encourage you to start small. It's just like when you're starting a savings program, you don't, you know, dump 50% of your paycheck in and be like, this is awesome. I'm gonna do it every day. You start small, 1%, 2%. Same things for goal setting. Make those little achievable goals because once you start achieving them, you'll start to want to achieve them and that makes you move forward even more and you'll tackle those big goals before you know it. Something that is in align with setting those small actionable goals is also to remember to take breaks. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get in the zone. Like I have recorded massive amounts of podcasts in one sitting, If you have followed along, you know that I like to batch things. So you have to remember to take breaks when you're batching, when you're doing anything, if you're working on a big project. It's very easy to get in the zone and then forget that, oh my gosh, five hours have gone by and I haven't even gotten up out of my chair. So it's very easy to do that. You can follow the Pomodoro method, which is 30 minute timers. I actually like 20 to 25. You can time yourself with your phone, you can time yourself with your watch, and even an old fashioned kitchen timer, that's what I use quite a bit. So those are all options to make sure that you're giving yourself not only physically a break to stand up, move around, but also to give your brain a break. This next one is a big one for me. You've gotta write everything down. Now, back in the day, I used to pride myself on being able to remember everything, but as I've gotten older, 
that's completely gone. I probably should have taken out stock and post-its because I use them all the time. So over the years, I have come to realize that it's best if I write everything down in one notebook. That notebook goes with me everywhere. I write every random thought, anything that pops up into my head, I'm always writing it down because I realize I just can't remember it. And that's probably not going to get any better as I age. But no matter what the age, get a notebook, make it a cute one, because if you do, you'll be more likely to write in it as well as carry it around with you. If you're currently an entrepreneur, this one's probably going to be tough for you because as entrepreneurs, we want to do everything ourselves. We don't need help from anybody. Nobody can do it as good as we can. But the honest truth is there are people that can do certain things much better than you can. So don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're stuck with a problem, if you're stuck with getting something done that you don't know how to do, editing videos maybe, whatever the case may be. Make sure that you are reaching out for help and asking for help. Don't try to do it all because that is the fastest way to get to burnout.